U.S. prosecutors on Thursday charged Stuart Rhodes, the founder of the far-right Oath Keepers militia, and 10 other people with seditious conspiracy for their role in the deadly January 6th attack on the Capitol. It marked the first time prosecutors brought seditious conspiracy charges against defendants in the attack. The crime is defined as attempting, quote, to overthrow, put down, or to destroy by force the government of the United States. Prosecutors said that beginning in late December 2020, Rhodes used private encrypted communications to plan to travel to Washington on January 6, and that he and others plan to bring weapons to the area to help support the operation. Supporters of former President Donald Trump that day stormed the Capitol in a failed bid to stop Congress from certifying his election loss to President Joe Biden. While some of the Oath Keeper members rushed inside the building wearing tactical gear, others remained stationed outside in what they deemed quick response force teams, which were prepared to rapidly transport arms into the city, prosecutors said. The Oath Keepers are a loosely organized group of activists who believe that the federal government is encroaching on their rights and focus on recruiting current and former police, emergency services, and military members. Rhodes spoke to Reuters in 2016. And one thing that the left needs to understand is that, you know, the right wing is extremely well armed in this country. And if they have the support of the military, you can wind up in a military dictatorship very easily. Seditious conspiracy is a felony carrying a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison. Nine of the 11 defendants were already facing other charges.